Hello everybody, this is Karma Killed the Cat, and welcome to your fourth Lua tutorial. So, I know in last tutorial I said that we'd be making a text game with all of the stuff that we've learned in Lua so far. I lied, completely forgot we had to go over loops, so we're doing that this tutorial. So, if you don't know, a loop is just a way to loop over a block of code more than one time. So, we'll go over the simpler one first, the while loop. So, for a while loop, we'll have... Oh, we don't need to do that. So we'll say i equals zero. We need to create a variable for this. And then to create a while loop, we do while, and then you have your condition, just like in an if statement. So we'll say while i is less than 10. And then we have do. So indent one. Actually, let's just. Then we write end at the end of the while loop. So enter, tab indent it so the code is clearer. So we'll just say print i. Oh, print i. Oh, what did I do? Okay, that worked finally. So you may have been able to guess that this program will count to 10. Actually, no, it won't, not yet. i equals i plus 1. Now it will count to 10. Sorry about that. So let's run this. So you see it counts up to 9. We could add a less than or equal sign, and it would count up to 10. So what this is saying is that while i is less than 10, run this code, and then go back up here, check it again, and if i is less than, still less than or equal to 10, run the code again. And then once i is greater than 10, it'll move on. So that's why it's counting to 10 and then stopping. So now let's move on to the next type of loop, the for loop. So to declare it, we do for, and then we create a variable, i equals zero, and we comma, space, and then we just put in how high we want the loop to count up to, and type do, enter, end. Then in here we indent, and then we do whatever we want the for loop to do, so print i, since we're still just counting to 10. So what a for loop does is it it's the same thing as a while loop, but it's specifically for counting up with numbers. So you can see here, while with a while loop we had to create a separate variable outside of the loop, we create the variable within the loop, and then we just put in the number that we want the loop to count up to. Now another thing, uh, actually let's run this first. So you see it counts from 0 to 10 again. But another thing you can do with the for loop is you can put a comma, another comma, and then we can say 2. So now this will count up by 2. So this last section here is saying how much you want i to go up by each time. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. But let's get rid of that for now. And it counts to 10 by 1's again. So both of these are good for different things. For a while loop, you'll usually use a Boolean variable. So do x equals true and while x do and end and the reason I didn't do while x is equal to true is because you can just type while x for a boolean variable and that's the same as saying while x is true you can also do while not x I may have explained that in the if statements tutorial I can't remember so we'll say print x is true and then we just have some code in here that would make x false and when x becomes false the loop would stop running I can't think of a good example right now but if you want to count to 10 or just count to any number use a for loop otherwise use a while loop so I think that's all for this tutorial. I think it was a pretty short tutorial. But in the next tutorial, we'll be going over tables, basic tables, so that'll be a longer tutorial. And then after that, I think we will get into the making the text game. So see you in the next tutorial.